How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. The Lakers may have not had a single pick in the entire 2021 NBA Draft, but that does not mean they are without any rookies. After the NBA Draft concluded, they were quick to add a number of undrafted players to their team, and one of them has clearly stood out more than the others. And that player happens to be Austin Reeves. He went from going undrafted, to signing a two-way contract with them, to playing on their summer league team, to then becoming a part of their actual 15-man roster, all within a little over two months. To say that he has made an impact would have to be an understatement. He may not have had any crazy, noteworthy performance that has really made him stand out, but it has become clear that he has a lot of potential. And I am far from the only one saying that about him, because not only do I, along with many other Laker fans believe that, but players on their actual team believe that too, with two of them being LeBron James and Anthony Davis. That he's an NBA player, and uh, he can play at this level and play at a high level. Um, I watched a lot of film on him when we drafted him, actually, and uh, I knew right away that he could uh, be an NBA player. I mean, he, 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 he works hard, you know, and, um, and I, told him, I told him today during the game, you know, with the defense on uh, Felicia, he got to stop, and I told him when he came back down, I said, man, playing like that earn you minutes. They have both been openly complimentary about him and what he has been able to do throughout training camp and during preseason. And well, those are two very good players to be complimented by. The fact that both of them believe in his ability to contribute to their team is very noteworthy. Veteran players like LeBron and AD typically are not looking to rely on an undrafted rookie to play minutes for their team, but that might be exactly what is happening here. And not only do they believe in him, but Frank Vogel clearly does too. He also is openly complimentary about him, but you can tell that he believes in him simply by how much playing time he has given him. He has not hesitated to include Reeves in multiple of their lineups. That will likely translate to the regular season too. With them currently dealing with injuries to Ariza, Ellington, and Horton Tucker, they'll need a guy like Reeves to temporarily fill in for them. And while it may be a bit risky to rely on an undrafted rookie to fill that kind of role for a contending team, he appears to be ready for that kind of opportunity. Along with the belief that his teammates and coach have in him, you already know that he believes he is ready for that role too. It is not hard to tell how confident of a player and person that he is, and he has a game to back up that confidence as well. But with all of that being said, how good can he really become, and how much of an impact can he make on their team this year? We'll talk about all of that in today's video, and try to answer how good of a player that Austin Reeves can truly become. To begin, if you are unaware of how they came to acquire him, they immediately signed him to a two-way contract after going undrafted in the 2021 NBA Draft. It was even recently confirmed that Reeves turned down an opportunity to be drafted in order to become a Laker. He felt that he had a better opportunity with the Lakers compared to being drafted late in the second round, which can definitely sound good in theory, but even that is taking a big bet on himself, and that really seems to be the type of person that he is. He has never shied away from taking on a bigger opportunity when it comes to basketball. He originally attended Wichita State for the first two years of college, but then transferred to a bigger college by going to Oklahoma following his sophomore year. He saw a bigger opportunity for himself there and was unafraid to take on that challenge. He went from being primarily an off-ball player at Wichita to then being a do-it-all kind of guy at Oklahoma. His numbers immediately took a big leap forward after going there too. Even while being their point guard, he led their team in the three major categories of points per game, assists per game, and rebounds per game during his senior year. And when you talk about carrying a team, that is basically what he did. He carried them to a winning record and all the way into the NCAA tournament, and it really cannot be understated about how impressive that doing that was. If we are being honest here, that Oklahoma team did not appear to have the talent to even have a winning record, let alone give Gonzaga a run for their money in the second round of the tournament. But that is what they did, and in large part due to Austin Reeves. He dropped 27 points on Gonzaga and was the only reason for that game even being competitive. He clearly showed up what he can do all year during his senior year, but yet, very few people seem to take notice. The fact that he would only have been taken late in the second round of the NBA Draft if not for turning down the opportunity following his great performance in the NCAA Tournament, along with the numbers they put up throughout the entire year, was definitely a bit odd. 
He clearly demonstrated the talent to be an NBA player, and while many teams failed to realize that, the Lakers were obviously not one of them. It took them only a matter of hours to sign him to a two-way contract, and then only a little over a month to make him an official part of their 15-man roster. And although there were initially a lot of fans, and even myself, wondering why they converted his two-way contract into a standard contract after an underwhelming summer league performance, it did not take him long to prove why he belongs. He is not a player you can judge fully on numbers alone. He has a certain type of confidence and swagger to his game that will catch your eye. Even though he was not putting up big numbers, at the very least, you could tell that he belonged out there. He has a high IQ for a young player, and he often knows where to be at the right time. That will help him translate well to playing with great players like LeBron, AD, and Russ. And he has that willing to do anything type of mentality to his game that can be comparable to a former member of their team in Alex Caruso. They may be very different players overall, but they do share some qualities. And no, I'm not only comparing them because they are both white. Beyond them having a very similar height, length, and overall build, they share similarities on the court too. They are both good ball handlers, both love to get out and run in transition, and probably most comparable between them has to be their willingness to take on any matchup. While Reeves may be more offensively orientated compared to Caruso, and may not quite be the defender that Caruso is, he is willing to take on any matchup on defense much like Caruso. He does not back down, and he is willing to do the dirty work on that end of the court, which is what helped a guy like Caruso become a valuable part of their team and eventually earn a near $40 million contract. If Reeves could reach anywhere near that level of defense, combined with what he can become on offense, the Lakers may have really found a gem here, because the amount of potential that he has for an undrafted player is actually a bit scary. Becoming a great defender will be the hard part for him. I do not doubt his ability to become a high level contributor on offense though. He has a natural feel for the game and it does not take long for you to notice that. He can play either on or off the ball and can play at multiple different positions. He is the height of a shooting guard or nearly small forward but yet can play a point guard. He is comfortable handling the ball and creating offense for other players. But the fact that he is just as comfortable playing off the ball and at any position between point guard and small forward is what will really make him so valuable. Versatile players like that are in high demand in today's NBA and he has the potential to develop into that kind of player. A lot of fans question his ability to be a reliable spot up shooter if put into that role, but I really don't worry about that. His 3 point shooting numbers during his final year of college and at Oklahoma in general were down only because of the difficulty of shots that he took. Like I mentioned before, he literally had to carry that team at times, and he often took difficult shots while trying to do it. But if you look back to how he shot from the three-point line while at Wichita, where he played into more of an off-ball type of role, you can see they shot very well. In his two years there, he shot a combined 45% from the three-point line. And while the three-point line in the NBA is a bit more difficult to shoot from, he clearly is not unaccustomed to shooting very well from beyond the arc, and I do not doubt his ability to become a very good three-point shooter in the NBA. In conclusion though, I think Austin Reeves could become a very good player. He was definitely an unexpected addition to their 15-man roster, but he is quickly proving that he belongs. I love how confident of a player that he is, and he has that it factor to his game. And beyond looking at what he can eventually become, I believe he will be a valuable contributor to their team this year. He may not have a huge role to play, but it does appear that he will be getting minutes, especially while they are dealing with injuries. That will conclude my thoughts on just how good Austin Reeves can become though. And what do you guys think? What are your expectations for him this year? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Thank you to everyone who took the time to watch until the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please remember to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. And if you want to stay up to date on all my immediate thoughts moves around the NBA, be sure to follow me on Twitter too. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.